Yeah, so it's uh, that time of the year uh, where uh, we are all getting ready for planting. Of course, conditions were really rough, so very hot, very dry, so we haven't seen many drills around out yet, but that, that's going to change after the latest rains we received. So we'll probably start planting our forage trials, our dual purpose uh, plots uh, next week. And with the moisture, just to take advantage of the moisture. And actually, this is mid-September mid is the optimal timing for planting dual purpose wheat. So that is the time of the year uh, where we can maximize forage uh, production while also minimizing yield losses from planting uh, too early. One of, one of the issues that usually we are afraid in these conditions is that we have enough moisture for that wheat seed to germinate, but we don't receive enough rain later on to sustain that seedling growth. So that's always something on our mind. And so th there is also concerns about uh, should I, in some conditions, should I dust it in? Should I plant deeper to get that soil moisture? So that will depend on a lot of factors and it is on a farm by farm decision. Uh, I usually prefer to keep that planting date on that optimal time. So we try to plant the weed on the, during that optimal time. And so last year, for example, we dusted in uh, a lot of wheat, but then conditions were really rough. We never received any rain in the fall and the forage situation was what we all know about. It was really uh, uh, low. So hopefully this year, it seems like with a forecast that hopefully we'll get a little bit more moisture. I'm hoping that we'll have a little better uh, fall for our forage uh, production. So a few things for producers to, to, to have in mind is just uh, right now it's a good time for soil sampling to know what, what is the fertility situation in, in each field before actually doing that nutrient management. Um, Controlling volunteer wheat, so making sure you plant wheat on a completely brown dead uh, volunteer wheat to prevent any issues with future diseases, so wheat chromite and then later on wheat streak mosaic viruses infestations. We haven't heard issues with uh, fall army worms, so but it's always good to keep your eyes out and and yeah, so let's look for the conditions. Uh, like I mentioned before, that will be on a farm by farm uh, case um, uh, or basis for, for decisions, but uh, hopefully it will have a better fall this year. If uh, producers are interested in seeing uh, variety differences, not only in yield and protein, but also forage, we have all results posted on our website. Uh, we have also included uh, some results that we have on the difference in seed, seed size among varieties that we have in the variety trials. So all that information is posted on the website and available to everybody. So grain yield, protein, test weight, and also uh, forage uh, production and first hollow stem. So, so they can see the differences that we have among varieties.